Hey there everybody, Kay here on my Tennessee homestead and I just wanted to film a little quick update to my long-term water storage video that I did recently. A lot of people have seen that. I've gotten great comments. So many people have informed me of things. I've learned a lot and hopefully other people have learned something from me or at least been reminded to get out there and get some water stored. Now I know everybody is right now it's Florida and the hurricane and now the Carolinas uh, that's on everybody's mind it sure is on mine it's given me a pit in the stomach uh, so I thought you know what Kate oh my gosh the other day I have looked repeatedly after all the comments about the you know some of these gallon bottles are not um, made out of materials that will last a long time on your shelf and mine most of them leaked and I had the damage on my shelving and all of that and so I've learned about those bottles. I'm not doing that again. I ordered some glass jugs. I think there, there are four glass jugs in there. So I'm just gonna keep those full in my garage. But also I debated on what can I do with maybe five gallon containers in the house, something that I can handle. And I came up with this solution. Now. Valley Food Storage is a long-term preparedness site with long-term food supplies as well as water storage, solar equipment, and so forth. So I encourage you to check them out. I am not their affiliate. I just wanted to show you what I decided and why. So they have this stackable five gallon container. This is made out of let's see, HDPE, which is food grade plastic that is free of all BPA, uh, toxic chemicals. So many people said in regards to my IBC tote, it wasn't new, I don't know what was in it, etc., etc. So <laughs> I decided I wanted some new food grade water storage in the house and you know this winter when there's snow on the ground i might not want to go over there so i want something handy and i want more than just a half a dozen gallon jugs of water so i ordered a set of three of these now they come in three six nine twelve and fifteen i believe and they're stackable and they have a spout i don't plan to be using this right away because I'm just gonna uh, keep it. I happen, I happen to have a cabinet in my bathroom and I've already got one in there cleaned and filled and another one cleaned and filled. I just need to dry it off and get it in there. And I thought, I wanna share this with you before I get it filled up and get it down in that cabinet. I wanna show you what I did. So I happen to have a filter on my shower. It's a you know, a shower head that's on a tube. And I thought, well, that's gonna be an easy way to fill it. However, the ring of water spray coming out of the head of the shower wand is larger than this hole. This hole happens to be the same size as a small mouth mason jar. So I used my funnel for my canning from my canning supplies and I just put it here and then I was literally able to drape the wand over the first one I had to stand there for like 20 minutes while half of the water went in to get it filled up and uh, the second one I was able to just put the shower head there and drape it over here and I was able to go and do other things while I waited for it to fill up so I just want to remind you that water is eight pounds per gallon. So that's 40 pounds and 40 pounds is really pushing it for me to like lift it up and carry it. Now I can bend over, you know, in the safe way, bend down and lift up like that close to my core and, you know, set it over here, but there is no way I'm going to be carrying that up three steps from my garage into my kitchen and all the way back here. So 
most likely where I'm going to need it is in the bathroom for the toilet, for brushing teeth, for uh, sponge bath, whatever. So uh, I decided that what I have, I have two of them. They're currently in use, but I'm going to get another one. I'm just going to get a little dolly. You know, I have a lot of caddies for my plants to roll my plants around on, but I just want to get those, one of those little caddies that has carpet on it, like you get at Home Depot, Harbor Freight, uh, Lowe's, and then just have it <laughs> handy, just set it sideways beside the, the containers and just be able to roll it all through my house. I don't have carpeting, so it's very easy to roll something through my house. So that's what I decided to do. I hope that's helpful. I don't know how exactly how long these are going to last, but they're really well made and they're stackable and you do get a discount if you get a lot, you know. And so I think it's when you order a set of 12, uh, which is three, three, three and three, and then I think the, the discounts start happening and on up. So. You might want to check that out and I did notice I have ordered long-term storage food from them before and I did notice today they have 10 20 and 30 percent off of their long-term storage foods uh, if you order a certain amount of product so you might want to check that out oh by the way there are so many chemicals in the city water and you can remove some of those if you put a a wand a filter on your shower and many people don't think of doing this uh, it's not that expensive the if you're if it's just one person or two people the the filters last a long time and it does filter out some of the toxins and it does leave your skin softer and you don't smell like chlorine. I cannot guarantee you that they all take the chlorine out. It depends on the filter, but do check that out. I mean, we want to keep as much of that toxin away from our skin and in our body as possible. If you care to support my channel, I'm going to put the link for this particular product that I'm going to add to my Amazon storefront. And you'll be able to see it when you go to, I think it's Household Essentials. I have several different stores. There's Garden Supplies, Health and Wellness, and Household Essentials. And I'll put that underneath there in case that's something that you want to buy. And at no extra cost to you, you can order through my link. And a very small percentage goes to my channel, goes to support my channel. So thank you. And I'll also say one other thing is now that I have three and now that I realize I have space to put them, you know, over there in the bathroom, I wish I'd gotten six and that way I could leave three out in the garage. It doesn't freeze in my garage as long as the power's on. And so, um, or, you know, I could probably find another spot for them, but it's just great to have water close at hand in an emergency. But do think about that. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about the devastation in parts of Florida and I mean, now it's supposedly coming back in. I don't know, you know, how it's all going to shape up before it's over, but um, my heart goes out to all the families who've lost loved ones and there, everything's been washed away, but you know for certain that the infrastructure of providing clean water, anytime there's a flood, anywhere, that the infrastructure for providing clean water is out of commission for an indeterminate time. I mean, there are linemen, all sorts of people down there ready to help and assist, but it could take a while. And so if your house is still intact and you've got long-term water storage, you can get by and um, five gallons for one person, you know, you could get by on that for a few days if you had to. So do think about it. I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions or any suggestions for other people, be sure and leave a comment below. A lot of times people leave great comments. Other people see them and they're helped by them. So God bless you. Thanks for tuning into my channel today. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I hope you subscribe and come back. And I'd love to hear from you. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.